I'm back with another video. Today we got how the streamer destroyed her career on one stream. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. This is Just The Minx, a Twitch streamer with over 2 million followers who has recently gone down a very disturbing, tragic and painful path, leading to her losing thousands of followers and subscribers every single day. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist, I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be looking to the sad and devastating story of Just A Minx, who throughout this video I'll be simply referring to as Minx. In the ever-evolving landscape of live streaming platforms, Twitch has emerged as a dominant force, attracting a plethora of talented creators. Among these creators, Minx, an Irish streamer, has carved out a niche for herself with a unique person. She look like she a bite, she look like she a bite some balls, I ain't gonna lie. Can you tell my, let's continue. Personality and diverse content. Ming started out on YouTube at a very young age, creating Club Penguin horror videos. As time passed, one of her short stories about a sad dog went viral, getting over 800,000 views. It would be at this very moment that Ming's got a taste for internet virality, and she couldn't get enough of it. I did go viral, like I don't want to flex too much, but I made a sad dog video um, where I wrote a sad story about a dog. It got 800,000. Let me tap into the Akashic Records. Orange. She sound, she sound like Becky Lynch from WWE. I like her voice though. Let's continue views 800,000 views that's a lot for a 12 year old so I knew from then that I was going to be an internet sensation like many aspiring streamers her initial audience was small but she persisted in her efforts and worked hard to develop an enthralling online persona she would receive a huge career boost after going on the love or host game show Tommy just Tommy yeah. get ready for bed Tommy needs to get ready for bed. He's got class in the morning. He's got to wash. He's got to clean no, his shoes I'm, as well. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Come on, Tommy. Let, let's let's get you tucked in. Come on. What? The, no. What's your Twitter? <laughs> oh shit. I'd uh, like to I'd like to block you. <laughs> no. Tommy. Don't block your own. Tommy. Oh. Caprice, take your son along uh, 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 on his merry way. He needs Come on, to be. Tommy. I'm up just the stairs. Pick him up. Up the stairs, oh, come on. Please. The audience took a liking to her, and many of them would go on to join her streams. Minx's dedication to her craft would eventually pay off, as she began to gain traction in the Twitch community by February of 2019. One of the key factors in Just a Minx's rise to prominence is her unique and entertaining personality, known for her outspoken nature, crude humor, and bold approach to content. Minx appeals to a wide range of viewers who appreciate her authentic and unfiltered style. However, that aspect of her personality would become a double-edged sword. Certain poor choices in her life, coupled with an unstable mental state, would slowly eat away at her, and 2021 would be the start of a dark chapter in her life. In early 2021, Minx began having frequent emotional breakdowns on stream. And you can see my loose kids, no matter what I do, no matter how much I work out. Look, look, I showed earlier, but the moment I bend, it comes out. There's nothing I can do to bend the way out! Some would perceive the situation as means. Told you I was right. She definitely a bite. She definitely a bite somebody ball. She she's one of those. That's crazy. You're gonna fall under one or two umbrellas of both being human nature with default settings you're not smart enough to pass a a polygraph test or a lie detector test you're not trained for you got default human settings so you're going to fall under that umbrella and the other one is to be conscious you have to be aware of programming nonetheless we're all being governed by governments so everything they dwindle in front of our face any form of television entertainment or whatever any program you're conscious of so you're gonna fall under that spectrum too and I say that to say it's an archetype when you see people do things and then it could be somebody you don't know from a can of paint and then you see them and they fit within this vibration and this archetype and you already know what kind of person they is so therefore I'm judging you off rip because now 99.9% .9 of the time I'm gonna be right 
And if that 1% take over and I so happen to be wrong, I'm going to be the bigger man and apologize. But most of the time, I'm going to be right. You're going to fall under one of the two umbrellas of both, just default settings. You can't change your settings. Let's continue. She's one of those for real. Playing things up for the camera, but coupled with the increased use of alcohol, things would only get worse. Ming started getting drunker and drunker on stream, sometimes even passing out while she was still live. About some belly fat. Stop eating bologna sandwiches. Stop putting mayonnaise on your bologna sandwiches. Stop eating cannibal sandwiches is what they call it. Look at your environment. You got this Castlevania bullshit behind you. All this, the colors. Uh, what this shit is, it all hold a vibration and a frequency and a vibe and a feeling. That shit ain't making it no better either. Let's continue. I knew I was missing something. Damn. In September 2022, Minx would find herself involved in a series of controversies within the Twitch community, one of which was for laughing at a victim of sexual harassment and completely dismissing her account of the incident. And she did not reply. <laughs> she doesn't have a Hold on, technical difficulties. Let me fix this real quick. Okay, we back. This is bullshit. Right. And just the Reddit comments I was getting were absolutely absurd, bro. Like, it's like, Jesus Christ, like, you guys are allowed to say this? Like, you're allowed to say these things to a woman about a woman? Um, elaborate? So, yeah. Hi, we're Visible, the wireless company that makes things visible. With us, what you see is... Slick is slick. I was here for this, and the other girl that was there too, and I heard them out. This is bullshit. They went out and Slick literally was just himself. And they took it the wrong way. Slick is good. Slick is weird. Yeah, he is weird. But he does it online. Like, he does it. It's always how Slick is. Minx's close friends and families would intervene by getting her professional help at a mental institution while making posts on Twitter explain the situation to the fans. But this didn't seem to work, as just a few days later, Minx would issue an apology on stream. But the damage was already done. Because there is an apology fucking old. Do I feel bad? Yeah. I have been advised to do a YouTube apology video talking about it or writing a script, which I probably should have done because knowing me, I will f up something here. I have done several things during my manic episode where it's not okay to ignore them. I'm not using my f***ing mental illness as an excuse because any oh mental illness God. comes with something deep within you. <laughs> so anything I said was me. I'm personally disgusted at myself. Jumped like two f***ing stones ahead. But this is why women don't come out with this type of shit. Shortly after, Minx found herself in the spotlight once again. This time, after being accused of blackmail by fellow streamer Toxic Support. Toxic went to Twit longer to recount her harrowing experience at a party hosted by Minx and her friends during the 2018 TwitchCon convention. According to Toxic, she and her friend participated in a drinking game where every mistake led to either downing a cup of vodka or removing an article of clothing. Things took a turn for the worse when her friend became quickly intoxicated and Toxic ended up in her underwear surrounded by 13 men, actively pressuring her to undress further. Distressed, she got dressed, helped her friend, and they promptly left the party without any acknowledgement from the other attendees. Toxic would reach out to Minx the following day, who had mostly been absent from the party. Minx initially seemed supportive, even accompanying Toxic to a Twitch partner lounge to discuss the incident with friends. However, later that day, Minx allegedly sent a text to Toxic banning her from future parties and threatening to divulge private information if Toxic went public with her story. Despite these allegations, Minx has remained tight lipped, neither addressing nor commenting on the accusations on Twitch or her other social media channels. It is worth noting that she was going through a home invasion incident at the time, so she may not have been able to actually address the situation if she wanted to. All the drama surrounding Minx would sour her relationship with her audience, but what came next would change her relationship with the entire streaming community. On the 25th of February 2023, Minx went live, and as usual, she had a bottle of alcohol in her hand. As the stream went on, 
Minx's drunken state would become all too apparent after dropping a bottle of liquor on the floor. Minx had been intoxicated on stream before, but this time Twitch had enough and banned Minx's account for 7 days. This incident only foreshadowed Minx's actions in the coming days. On the 11th of March 2023, the second edition of the annual streamer awards was being held. Naturally, Minx wanted to be in attendance to cheer on her friends and fellow streamers. Which when is the nail in the coffin like? And why stream? She wasn't invited. She'd already bought tickets, but approached her close friend QT, who was an organizer of the event, and asked if she would be allowed to share the ground floor with other streamers. QT Cinderella had known Minx for a long time, and was aware of how badly alcohol affected her, as there are several incidences of Minx behaving recklessly at parties after she got drunk. Tie it up, tie it up, tie it up. You can't! Oh. 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 I'm next, I'm getting next. <laughs> Are you okay, bro? Nah, this look lit though. What kind of DLC is this? What kind of map is this? Dude, this definitely a new update. Like, where is they at? When we get these patch notes? She also had difficulty staying sober when alcohol was present at parties. No, no, no. Minx, really, she's taking- I know that what I heard it just fizzled out. Like she had one HP and somebody shot her, like. What kind of shit is- She also had difficulty staying sober when alcohol was present at parties. No, no, no. Minx, no. really, she's taking medicine that she really can't drink. She didn't take it in three days. No, 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 trust me. No, you she's, can't. She's anti-meds. Can you Ask her. Isn't this a turn off? This is such a Melina, Melina, please, Melina. She actually can't. She actually can't. Listen, he's cucking us. Melina, 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 Melina. 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 Ass mango. What? That's crazy. When I scanned their archetype earlier, yeah, you look like this would be the circle for sure. Not to say it's anything wrong with that. I fuck with ass mango. Believe it or not, I can relate to a lot of people. I wear many hats. I'm a jack of all trades. Soon to be ascended master, so I can master all these different hats. But um. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> stop, she actually can't. Stop, stop, she actually can't. What's wrong with you? Stop. Now, so this, let me just talk about this, what just happened. This is weird for many reasons. Melina force feeding, not sipping super hard, and her That's not sipping, that's me. QT would grant Minx's request, but under the condition that she wouldn't have any alcohol throughout the event. Minx would agree to QT's terms, but that promise was quickly broken the after party where Minx would almost immediately get drunk and start causing a scene. She would try to push people and large propane heaters into the pool, which left the security team with no other options but to remove her from the building. Unbeknownst to anyone else at the party, Minx's friend had called an ambulance since Minx had gone limp while she was escorted outside. Within minutes, police cars, a fire truck and an ambulance arrived at the venue and the after party was shut down almost immediately. Despite being given another chance, Minx had let down not just Cutie Cinderella, but every other streamer present. A few days later, Cutie Cinderella addressed the situation on a podcast with other streamers that attended the after party. But then, something that's very personal that I'm not trying to create any unnecessary drama here, but uh, Minx attended the after party and got kicked out and inevitably got the party shut down because it was an 
residential neighborhood and I want to unpack some things here. Um, I personally, and I don't want this to become a rag on mink segment, it's not going to be that. I have personally done everything in my ability to help this woman. I have tried everything. She has been my friend for years up until uh, a point last year when it she had pa pushed me past my boundaries where I had to say, hey, like this is do you know what today is? Today is the third day of our three-day road trip across the country. Or our five-year... This is too much for me. I'll just stream... Guys out there, make sure you never let anyone cross your boundaries. If you do, you're going to end up in a laundry basket next to the bounty. Don't do that. Things like XQC and C-Dog, who were also present at the party, would give their own accounts of what happened. Running in. Uh Speaking of XQC... XQC, I have a question for you. Why do you talk like you on the phone with a girl you really like and she about to hang up on you? <laughs> I, I've been wanting to ask that. <laughs> like, I'm serious. Like, it's like she like, okay, I'm about to, yeah, I'm doing such, and you know when they, when someone say the last sentence, you know what they finna do after us. Like, and he just, yeah, 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 yeah. Calm down. Let's continue, man. <laughs> Um, because I was like, don't do this. This is a bad idea. <laughs> I was, it was, I was like talking to Saikuno. I was like, yeah, my lifeguard training's kicked in. I was talking to Saikuno like this. Then Mix comes up and I was like, oh, hi, hi. Because Mix was just drunk. I was like, whatever, dude. I, dealing with drunk people is like easy. That's fine. Um, you said that she was trying to throw Saikuno. No, she wasn't, she wasn't trying to throw Saikuno in. She was, she was, she was trying to run in. But me and Sakuna were talking, and then she was like, you should go in, Sakuna. And then Sakuna was like, no, obviously. And then she tries to run in. People will, like, um, you know, be like, oh, like, stop drinking, but they're not, like, actually helping at all. Well, let me, bro, stop. It's just how it is. Okay? It's just, it's just, it's just my view on it. Okay? And then, and then, um, I was across, and then she, and, and then she kept drinking. Yeah? And then, um, after that, what happened is that, you know, she, she just drank too much. She just drank too much. That's it. And then some stuff was getting broken or something like that. And the party was kind of like getting crazy, I guess. So they, they, they had to like, like put it out front and then uh, they got people to help. And the, the, the house people were like, yo, bro, um, now nah, we're done with this sh and This wouldn't stop Minx from sharing her side of the story on Twitter with a tweet reading, that was 100% the worst seizure I've had since I was 15. I still am struggling regaining memory from even yesterday. My QT would respond with, Oh, go f yourself. You were drunk before the after party. I almost had you thrown out of the show because you're yelling and making everyone uncomfortable. Completely. I've tried everything with you. Rehab everything. I hope this is your rock bottom. Get help. And on the 13th of March, Minx would go live on Kick to apologize and acknowledge that she does have an alcohol problem. I, yeah, I shouldn't have drunk. I shouldn't have drunk. I'm not gonna lie, I was playing with people, someone that I thought was very attractive, got nervous and started drinking. At the awards, uh, when I was yelling, I was just yelling to hide Huey up. I wasn't actually yelling at anyone else. Tubbo and Tubbo's father was at the table, Nadia was at the table. Uh, the two men that won the award were at the table. Uh, it was the after party that I did. Uh, fuck off. Well, but I also over. do want to just say that for people saying I didn't have a seizure, I definitely did have a seizure. I went to the hospital. I was at the hospital for a while. Are you still going to box? I'm definitely still going to box if they let me. It is just a shame on my behalf. Three days later, Minx would return to Ireland to seek professional help and be closer to her family. Minx continued to stream on Twitch and share wholesome moments with her family on social media. Things were looking up for her. She was home with her family, started streaming again, and was finally getting help with her alcohol problem. But unfortunately, it wasn't all smooth sailing, as on the 22nd of March, Minx would be involved in a heated argument with her sister live on stream. Yeah, I have a problem! You have a problem! Yeah, you are! You are! 
The pedo allegations wouldn't go unnoticed, as Keemstar and several other commentary channels would pick up on the story. So Keemstar, you so cringy. You so cringy that the, the, the Aiden Ross video, when you you had Tory Lanez in them in there. That's all I know. That video, I made a reaction video to it. It had good views. I ain't give a fuck. I deleted it. I had to delete and get your essence off of my YouTube channel. You is the most. This verse is fitting for you, but it's not in a positive way. Your cringiness is unutterable, for it exists as an entity in lanes which transcends our material words or symbols. I got spectator mode embarrassment from that, and I deleted the video. And here you go again. I can't edit. Today I might learn how to edit to crop you out. Anybody out there, hell, if you ain't cringier than him or on the same level, you should be proud of yourself. You should be happy. You should be that guy. You should feel like it. Because you could be him or you could be a spawn from him with these genes. Recessive. Be proud you are who you are because you could be him. You could have been him. Could have been records. <laughs> channels would pick up on the story. Since she didn't want to escalate things any further, she just brushed it off with this tweet. Americans are soft though. A statement that ruffled some feathers, but after a few- I agree. Americans are some- some pussy ass, mask wearing ass Caillou's. And that's how a lot of you guys feel fucked up and you don't know how to fix it. It's because you're rejecting your shadow self. You're rejecting your your nature. You need to embrace your nature. You need to bring in unit sense and become balanced. And then be that. Fuck being a role model. Being a real model. Not saying just being a belligerent, ignorant immigrant. But no, like, it's about balance. And then you got people that's walking billboard PR people like The Rock. One of the greatest said it. <laughs> um, yeah, Americans soft as hell. You can't take nothing. They waited until I paid for skins on Warzone to mute me, bro. You should have had that in the stipulations to begin with. I want my fucking money back. Freedom of speech, that's crazy. Because if someone else get butt hurt, if you get butt hurt off of what somebody's saying, you got recessive genes. You should not be procreating. At that point, it's recessive creating anyway. If words penetrate in your aura and you feel some type way or something off the Americans are soft as fuck. I ain't gonna that's that's, that's I agree with you. Your replies, Ming stayed quiet and didn't feed into the drama. It didn't take long for the heat to die down, and the internet moved on to something else. Today, Ming still keeps up with her regular upload schedule now that she's in Ireland, and recently has made strides recovering from her alcoholism. What I need to stop is when I go to a party, I need to know when to stop drinking. When I start drinking, I know, I know. I know. Girl, you need to stop drinking altogether. S liquor ain't nothing but body eating spirits. You ever seen a motherfucker cry and then start laughing and smiling? It's scary. I've been subjected to some shit involuntarily growing up, but then one thing leading after another, your stepfather start beating on you. You don't know what to do. And I've seen that. So I'm staying away from that. I don't fuck with that liquor shit or whatever. Not to say I wouldn't take a shot here and there. But I, I really I don't drink. But if I'm like with some people. I enjoy their company and we're cool. I take a shot too. And it's no big deal. I like wine for real. But yeah it sounds like you need to stop. It's literally a body eating spirit. It's a gen that didn't ha make you all... Your shit is fluctuating. You're chemically imbalanced. And it's bad for your health. And it's making the others around you that you care about uncomfortable. That's inconsiderate than a motherfucker. I'd have DDT Joe ass. Where is Randy Orton when you need him? We got Keanu Reeves. I fuck with um, penguins too. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video, Caillou. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter.
Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. How she fell out like she had zero HP earlier. Us versus them. Man. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. I'm out.